guys. I'm here in my little makeshift greenhouse um, and I just wanted to open my first shipment of seeds with you guys. Um, sitting here with a cup of coffee. Late afternoon. Actually the sun's about to go down but so I get my seeds. My favorite place to get my seeds is from um, Baker Creek which is um, rareseeds.com and I've done this one before, Moringa. I've tried it. I didn't have good luck with it, so I just really wanted to try it again. Um, and so something you should know is that I really try to grow things that either um, I can't find in the store or maybe would be expensive if I could find it in the store. I don't grow a lot of things that are inexpensive like um, broccoli and cauliflower. I don't grow those because I can buy them organically pretty cheap. Um, pink banana. I'm super excited about this. I'll be putting this in a pot that I can bring in through the winter just to keep it safe. Ashwagandha. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. Um, pomegranate, orange master. So this is like a, it's a, a dwarf tree. I'll also plant it in a pot to bring it in through the winter. Cause I'm, I just, I'm kind of like pretty protective with my baby plants. Walking stick kale. I'm super excited about this one too because it literally grows like very tall like 10 12 feet and you just pick the bottom leaves and so there's a big stick and then the um, fresh leaves are at the top and it just continues to regrow i got two of those i got green beauty sugar snap pea these are like gigantic sugar snap peas and we are huge fans of sugar snap peas bushel basket gourd i'm really excited to see what this one does because i could just see me um, drying these out and like wood burning on the on the gourds and turning them into baskets and who knows so the artist in me is excited about those I got a lot I got thousand head kale the leaves on the thousand head kale are really big so I have seven children and a husband to feed I'm imagining just a couple of those leaves would be good for some some kale in our in our soup Garden Huckleberry, um, I've grown these before and they're not very tasty right off of the bush, but um, they make really good jellies and pies. Bitter Melon, uh, I got these because they said that the, the seeds on the inside taste like cherries. I'm a big fan of cherries, so it's willing, I'm willing to, to give it a shot. Ground Cherries, we love Aunt Molly's ground cherries. They are a mixture of like a tomato and like a, maybe a pineapple. Super good, straight picking right in the garden. Micro Tom Tomato. I'm excited because these are like little uh, miniature tomato plants that just continue to put out tomatoes and they're small and you can put them anywhere. So they would be good for um, like a fairy garden. And I got lots of strawberry seeds. Um, we're huge fans of any kind of berry. Um, these are uh, snake gourds. Yeah. Kukuzi. I think these are Squash bug resistant or vine borer resistant. I don't remember. I just know that they are like pretty tough plants. More strawberries. Um, more strawberries. More and more strawberries. I got white currant uh, tomatoes. I like the really small tomatoes because most of the time we just pick them and eat them right in the garden. I got a mango melon, another small tomato, and then there's the big, big, big sunflowers. Gotta love those. Um, oh, I tried this tomato. Uh, a friend gave me some of these and they tasted really, really good this year. Um, so these are more berries. I haven't grown these um, before, but I'm anxious to try them. Black cherry tomatoes. I like to plant my cherry tomatoes in pots because you can bring them in and they'll continue to produce through the winter. Um, extra long, uh, Thai extra long sponge. This is a loofah gourd. You can see how tall it is compared to that little girl. Pepino melons. Tamarillos, never grown these either. Roselle red hibiscus. These make really good, um, before the flowers bloom, the fruit that's on there is uh, pretty, it's like a, it's a tart sweet. 
flavor. More huckleberries. Swartzenberry. I think I've tried these before, but I don't think that they actually grew. Cherokee tomatoes. Um, those are really good down here in Texas. More Aunt Molly's ground cherries. Um, let's see. And I got from Seed Savers Exchange, I got um, some more tomatoes that um, Baker Creek didn't have. And so that's the uh, more current tomatoes because they're tiny and I love tiny tomatoes. Gold Rush tomato, more tiny tomatoes. And then Austin's red pear tomato. I've never had a red pear. I've had the yellow pear and I love those. So I'm hoping that these are good producers here too. A few more. Moonflower, I really love moonflowers. Um, Isis candy cherry, more small tomatoes. Um, white strawberries. A black beauty tomato. Um, spinach strawberry. I've tried growing these before, but they didn't do really well. Um, so, you know, when you're a gardener, hope springs eternal. You can always hope for the next uh, growing season to do better than the last did. And I also wanted to share with y'all what I have been spreading in my um, seed starter uh, pots is this seed starting mix. It's Light Warrior Seed Starter. And it has um, a lot of like um, good things in it, good bacteria to help your, your seedlings start off really healthy um, as opposed to a lot of the like sterile potting mixes and things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll be making more. So thanks for joining me. Happy growing.